Sunday morning in Kihei. And we want to prioritize, we want to make specific piles. We're going to want first aid. Okay. For the fifth day, residents are showing up at this small harbor to deliver and pack donations before being sent to the victims of Tuesday's fire. We're going to make piles a priority, cooking oil, uh, seven products, camping gear, especially the big tents. And as soon as a boat appears, an army of volunteers goes into action to load it up. Yes, we'll take water. Many displaced residents are staying just north of Lahaina, some of them sleeping in tents on the beach. The road keeps on getting shut down. We still get calls from people on the other side. They need especially cooking oil, diapers, you know, real necessities. So we're just going, going, going. There is no time to waste. High winds and waves could hamper the trip and the delivery, and several boats have been turned back by Coast Guards who are blocking access to the disaster zone. Charlotte is one of the volunteers on this trip. It's her first day off from work this week, so she decided to help out. They lost everything, their houses, their jobs. And we're very far from everything. So people are like a family, a true community. If one person suffers, everyone suffers. As we sail past the charred remains of Lahaina, the team falls silent. I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at, but there's nothing left. A few kilometers further north, jet skis approach the vessel. The water is shallow and coral reefs could damage the boat. Stay between. They successfully guide it to shore and within seconds, volunteers and residents jump into action. Dozens of bags of supplies are carried to the beach. They will quickly be sorted and sent to those in need. Before we know it, the boat is empty. Yeah, you guys, keep hey. Delivery took just five minutes. As the trip back begins, the team is already busy planning tomorrow's drop-off. They say they'll keep going as long as the victims of Lahaina need their help.